Welcome to day four on my seven day quest with Windows 7 and today we're going to talk about a little file management. We're going to pull up a Microsoft Windows 7 folder. Here I have the public documents open and you can see that it's again Vista-ish if you've used Vista but it's changed a little bit over here on the left. I still think the Windows XP quick tasks over here on the left or the common tasks was a very good implementation but they've seemed to lost that forever so we have to move on. First thing you'll notice on the left hand side here at the top is favorites. Favorites let you add certain folders that you get into all the time to this list. If I want to add a folder from my network to my favorites I can click on the folder right here and then drag it right up here to the favorites and it creates a link to that particular folder. The next thing down here is libraries. This is also new to Windows 7. A library allows you to combine folders from all over your computer into one what they're calling a library. So in my documents library you can see I only have one library location and it tells me if I click that that I have only my documents listed there. So at this point I can add from this dialog box another location. So I'm going to click add it'll bring me up a browse window and I'm going to tell it that I want to add from my local hard drive and under my users I want to add the public documents from my computer here so I'm going to click include folder and now you can see I have both folders listed we'll click OK and now in the upper right hand corner you see I have two library locations and I can collapse the locations just by clicking here and I can see I have 17 documents in my documents and I have three documents in the public documents folder. Now that's if I arrange this library by folder. If I want to I can have it look like one folder. So if I just click name now I see the name of all the documents and the location could be in either one of the two folders I have in this particular library. I can see where they're going with this feature. I think it could be useful, especially if you do keep documents located in different areas of your computer, but you'd like to be able to access them together at times. So that's what a library does for you. You can do that with music, you can do it with pictures, you can do it with anything you want to there. The next thing down is the home group here in file management. And the home group is the new way of networking in Windows 7. Windows XP made networking fairly easy compared to 95 and 98. Windows Vista went a three steps backwards and made it harder and it looks like with the home group especially if you're using two Windows 7 machines it's going to make it easier again. Last but not least in file management we have the typical what's called your directory tree and just like they did in Windows Vista they've gotten rid of the plus and the minus signs and now you have instead the little triangles that collapse or open that particular folder that you're looking at. So you click on the triangle if it's pointing down as it is here that folder is open. If I click it again it's collapsed. And so that's what they've done in Windows Vista. They've kept that in Windows 7. The recycle bin has changed also in Windows 7 just slightly. When you open the recycle bin and you see the things you've deleted you do now have a folder tree on the left hand side so when you click on an item you can either click restore the item or you can drag it directly into a folder that you want to store that particular item in that you accidentally deleted or just want to recover. So just one small change in the recycle bin but a fairly important one. And one last thing in today's video that is sort of related to file management. If I click the start button and go to a new feature in Windows 7 called devices and printers you can see that Windows 7 has no longer separated all the things that are connected to your computer. Now it shows my mouse, my camera, any printers I have installed, if I had any external hard drives, everything would show up in one place. So when you connect a device to your computer, instead of having to hunt for it in the control panel and figure out what category it is in, they have lumped it all under devices. So there's a couple new things and new features in Windows 7 file management. Tomorrow we'll be back with day 5 of my tour with Windows 7.